Hey everybody, welcome back to Nose of the Lion Plays the Binding Vibes. We're gonna do another random uh, vanilla run today, and why the heck not? They've actually been turning out pretty well for us. Let me get my mouse pointer off the screen. Just had a horrible realization that maybe I left it on the screen for the entirety of my last run, but that is probably pretty unlikely, I guess. Yeah, we, we had another great run uh, last time. I don't know if you've uh, all watched it. If you haven't, I would encourage you to do so. Uh, and I am gonna pop Bookable out, because my guess is that Envy is probably gonna be more difficult than whatever boss we end up fighting, uh, whether Larry Jr., Monstro, Famine, etc., etc. Could be wrong. If we end up like getting a really shitty draw and fighting the fallen or something like that I will regret this decision but uh, I think we'll still survive nonetheless so I am trying to kill the blue envy last because this will uh, convey the possibility of getting the attack fly I think an increased possibility anyway but yeah if in case you haven't seen the last run I encourage you to do so very very solid uh, blue baby run where things were were never really in dire straits uh, but I was very surprised that, by the fact that we won kind of as handedly as we did uh, or not, not handedly maybe but comfortably as we did and with only blue envies left, I think my attack fly odds are pretty good here. Indeed, we did end up getting one. Now, an attack fly is not necessarily the greatest item in the whole world. It does, uh, to a small extent, compensate for the fact that, uh, unfortunately, I was unable to uh, pick up a worthwhile item. Oh, that was kind of close. Uh, from the item room there, obviously Monster Manuel, not something I'm super interested in. Uh, so by our ability to pick up that attack fly, it makes me feel a little bit better about the way things are going so far. Hopefully we have one more room so I can get bookable, or one more room with enemies, I should say, so I can get Book of Belial charged up. Does indeed appear that that is going to be the case. And uh, we will pick up another bomb for the cost of a bomb there, which is not really the greatest trade that we've ever had in our entire lives. Uh, but we are going to have Famine. Okay, so this is going to be a fairly textbook uh, first floor it's looking like. Oh, just be a little careful here. Don't want to take any damage. I think if Famine runs into me, uh, that might actually be my death. Obviously, uh, it, it actually is a little unfortunate that we're fighting Famine on the first floor because as Judas, uh, you really want to get that first HP upgrade up as soon as possible, you know? It, it's like getting Hand of Midas up in Dota or something. You want to make it happen uh, ASAP, but sadly we're not going to have that opportunity. Uh, but I am just going to bolt right down to the next floor. You might be thinking, Northern Land, you had two bombs, why not look for the secret room? Well, the, the simple answer is, uh, on the, I, I don't trust myself when it comes to looking for the secret room on the first floor because I've had so many false alarms of being like, oh, I've got two bombs and now they're all gone, even though I, I looked in what would normally be the uh, obvious locations for the secret room. Uh, I think the first uh, floor doesn't play by the rules when it comes to the secret room. Also, it was like a... Uh, blindness floor, and even though there were so few rooms that I probably could have figured it out just by process of elimination, still uh, just a, enough of a uh, negative to make it so I didn't really necessarily want to do that. So, thankfully, we did pick up a key and a spirit heart here. Just be ah, here's what I'm thinking, because I I want to go fight the boss ready to make his book of Belial's ready, but we might earn a deal with the devil. So unless we get an HP upgrade, I'd basically just be killing myself to take it. But I, I think I'm gonna go through with it regardless and hope that we get an HP upgrade by way of this monstro. Um, if not. Not the end of the world, we'll have to judge it on a case-by-case -case basis when we see whatever items. Uh, if, and I expect we will earn a deal with the devil, because I'm going to be able to kill this guy so quickly and uh, without taking any damage, presumably. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to see what we get. If there's a mom's knife, that's probably, you know, something that's in our best interest to take. Uh, we did get the HP upgrade, so we'll see. If there's a brimstone or a, a spirit of the night, it might be a little riskier. Uh, the nail! What a, a peculiar situation here. You know what? I am, for once, going to be a smart guy. Uh, and I'm not gonna go for one of those? I thought about it, I really did. Uh, but you gotta weigh the costs here. You're probably thinking, oh, the nail's great because you can get rid of your existing HP, then you could probably roll on permanent, permanent Polaroid Invincibility, you'll be getting, uh, you know, the ability to crush rocks, and the ability to do extra damage by way of the nail, plus a way to actually replenish Spirit Hearts later in the game. All true! Uh, and if I didn't have a spacebar item at present, that might actually be enough to sway me to get it. Or that might have been enough, I guess I should say. Uh, but since we already have Book of Belial, I don't think it's in our best interest to go through with that. Uh, simply because uh, we'd be giving up Book of Belial to make it happen. Not to mention uh, the two spirit hearts as well. Or, sorry, the two uh, red hearts I have as well, which are basically the only health that I have. Now, mind you, I would have gotten the two spirit hearts immediately after picking up the nail. Uh, but still, you know, you gotta weigh everything against everything else. So, uh, I think in this in that situation, it was the smart choice. Uh, the black bean is not necessarily a game... Uh, saving item, but, uh, you know, if we get permanent Polaroid Invincibility at some point, the Black Bean uh, will allow us to do some extra poison damage to enemies. I'm not sure if it works like Poison Touch, like if it always goes off every time we get hit. Um, but anyway, uh, let's. So we've got one bomb left. I hesitate to use it to look for the secret room, but uh, there does appear to be only one likely scenario for where it could be, so... Fuck it, man. We might as well play it once. We're already in here. I was hoping that we'd be able to get, uh, like, a bomb or a key out of it to compensate it for it, but, uh, sadly, no. So, I say it's time to go down to the next floor. Even though we haven't really picked up anything amazing, uh, the HP upgrade is gonna give us a little bit more survivability as Judas, and, uh... 
I guess we could still go to the deal with the Devil Room if we wanted to. I just wanted to see if the items had changed. Uh, obviously, the quarter not necessarily worth three spirit hearts in this situation either. But anyway, you know, all that means is that, uh, oh man, that is a lucky draw. A compass from the uh, mob challenge room. Uh, unfortunately, we are going to have to deal with uh, two waves at the same time, as if we are a millionaire or something. But uh, you know what I do with a million dollars? Two mob trap rooms at the same time. Anyway. I'm going to stop quoting Office Space as if that gives me some semblance of being clever. Uh, we are going to go through with this. The compass is actually a huge get for us. Now, of course, this is an item that, that scales substantially better in the late game versus the early game. But, you know, step one is just surviving to the late game, of course. Uh, that being said, I, I'm very much pleased with where we are nonetheless. Okay, so two hits is all it takes to kill these guys. Still would love a, a really... Like, biz wham boom high powered uh, damage upgrade. Uh, would love some extra health. Would love uh, increased rate of fire. That being said, I I'm pleased with where we are. That's not to say it couldn't be better. I mean, the only thing that, you know, could not be greater is Golf with a Gator. So if I could get you to pop up for a second there, thank you very much. Uh, and the nut almost killed him there. One more. There we go. Uh, Birdfoot, if, even if I had the bombs, I wouldn't necessarily be that interested in picking up Eve's Dead Birdfoot. I, I still don't know how Eve's Dead Birdfoot works. It gives you like a 1 in 4 chance of having the dead bird from the start of the room. Um, anyway, I guess we will see. You know, now we are finding out that Black Bean does indeed work uh, every single time you get hit, not just once per room. A little risky to play the uh, Blood Bank like that, but the extra money may indeed prove useful at some point. Mostly, uh, I was just looking for the Blood Bag, though. Kind of have to, you know, give it your all when you're playing as Judas. You gotta try to snag those HP upgrades as early in the game as possible, even if it does put you at a little bit of risk personally. Uh, obviously, getting a little bit concerned here that we're so far, and uh, we haven't gotten a single key yet that we can use to open this item room. Now, uh, that might be alleviated if we had some bombs that I could use to possibly uh, bomb my way into that item room. Sadly, that does not appear to, appear to be the case either. Uh, but, meh. Okay, there's a nickel over there. I can't get that either. There is a tinted rock! This is the worst situation, because there is a tinted rock here, uh, but I can't get to it. Uh, and there's a key there, and I can't get to it, and there is a chest here, but I can't get to it. Just So really, all we need to start the, the train here is like a single bomb or, you know, two bombs, but it's unlikely that I'll be able to get them because it seems like they would probably uh, fall into this chasm here. But, you know, we're, it, all's not lost yet. We'll see what we get from the uh, boss room. Uh, but it's possible that this might basically be a dead floor when it comes to items for us, which is really disappointing, of course, but, uh, you know, we'll persevere. For now, I'm not in the uh, greatest position I could possibly be in, but I'm, I'm okay nonetheless. Okay, so there is one item for us, and at this sorry, one key for us, and at this point, I would almost welcome just like a, even a remote detonator or something, just anything to give me five bombs. Of course, uh, you know, it's hard to feel bad when Polyphemus actually came up as a result instead, so uh, hopefully, uh, again, a deal with the devil here would be amazing, an HP upgrade combined with a deal with the devil would put me over the moon, uh, but let's just try not to die first, uh, because I am in kind of a, a less than ideal situation with respect to my health, largely because of that blood bank that I went to earlier, uh, which kind of end up being pure assholery for me. That being said, we are one-shotting uh, with Book of Belial and the uh, Polyphemus upgrade here. We are one-shotting these fistulas and the uh, silkworms that they create, so I'm pleased with that. Gotta make sure I don't miss. We actually gotta deal with the angel, which is very interesting. Let's see what we get in there. Uh, the Bible. Not interested, sadly. Uh, am interested in the HP. Now, the coins, or sorry, the coin purse here presents a very interesting scenario. The first one was telepills, which did, uh, nothing for us. We will walk back. Uh, obviously the main event here is those two same pills, because if they end up giving me, uh, an HP upgrade or something like that, we're not necessarily sitting pretty, but in a much better situation. If one of them... I guess they can't really give me the ability to fly, can they? Uh, we're, so we're gonna check out this orange pill first, just in case. That is a luck upgrade. Now, please be good. Oh, that's so shitty. So I guess what I could do is get the Bible, and then that would allow me to get the key and open up some of those golden chests, but it's not worth it. The fact that that is a health down pill just, like, harsh as my buzz, man. Uh, now, mind you, we're still in a, uh, a good position with respect to everything but our health. And unfortunately, health is kind of the be-all, end-all in a lot of these situations. Uh, we'll hope for some more good item rooms, but largely... Uh, I would be in love with the game and the troll engine if it would give me something like lard even. Lard plus a speed upgrade uh, would I guess be ideal. Hey, we got two keys here so we will be able to go to the shop. Mom's bra actually synergizes quite well with us right now because obviously I just can't afford to take damage so uh, the ability to freeze enemies is obviously super important. Now we are, you know, let's look on the bright side. We're one-shotting most enemies and, and two-shotting basically all enemies. 
Skeleton key is a no-brainer. Obviously, we've had key problems all game. Uh, I accidentally created, uh, again, two waves simultaneously here. Okay, now I'm a little scared about things. Because uh, each of these, like, Eyeless Ooze guys would do one heart of damage to us, I believe. But this is okay. We're going to get through this. Uh, we'll be able to go to the... Oh, shit. Okay, I, I accidentally let the enemy spawn right on top of me. Don't lose this one yet. You're in such a good position if you can just survive. I might just want to go with uh, to the shop, and if there's a spirit heart, buy the spirit heart, even if it stops me from being able to buy an actual item on this floor. We desperately need some extra survivability. Okay, fighting greed, uh, not my idea of a good time right here, but we should be able to, you know, four or five shot him. We're like the definition of a glass cannon right now. And quite frankly, we're not even doing that much damage. We're just doing more than you would expect uh, by this point in the game. I've, I've had runs where I've done more damage than this. Uh, but with Book of Belial, we are a pretty goddamn monstrous. Uh, obviously that's our boss room up there, but I'm gonna come down here to the arcade just on the off chance that maybe we can get lucky and, uh, win some good, uh, you know, with 20... Oh, Maggie's Faith is actually so valuable in this situation. Uh, if I had Spirit Hearts to protect Maggie's Faith, I'd feel a lot better about things. Now, definitely do not walk over the spikes in this situation. That could be a very useful card, uh, that bicycle card there, uh, to give us extra bombs or something. Two of Hearts, uh, it, it's meaningful. It is, uh, but we, we can't really do too much with it just yet. If we get hit once, though, we, we can bring ourselves back immediately, which is nice. Uh, so, you know, I will spend seven cents on this arcade, just in the uh, hopes that we'll be able to pick up uh, either a spirit heart or a regular heart. More bombs would be okay as well. Fly love might be alright. Uh, let's just hopefully get lucky here. This is the last gamble. Uh, we got another key, which is totally worthless for us, basically. And uh, that's it. Uh, we actually should blow up the blood bank, just in case. Because it typically, yeah, it gives out hearts, but maybe I should have played it once, then blown it up. Uh, I guess we're gonna make our way towards the boss room now. I'm feeling a little bit skittish about this whole situation. Obviously, um, you know, Polyphemus and the amazing damage we have. It sounds like a Roald Dahl novel or something, but uh, it, it puts us in a very good position. If only we can ensure our survivability. Like, one spirit heart. This is really the, the floor of reckoning. Like, if we make it through this floor... Uh, definitely pop that two of hearts card. Don't be an idiot. Uh, just if we can ensure our survivability on this floor, especially if we can get that Maggie's faith to give us an, an eternal heart and get the HP upgrade um, right away, uh, that's an enormous boon for us. Of course. Now I do have the speed necessary to get around these guys as long as they don't outsmart me, which would be pretty embarrassing if they manage to do it. Uh, it's amazing to me that that guy took so many hits before entering the ooze state. Okay, he's dead. Don't be an idiot. That was actually surprisingly close, and I was very scared. Uh, more hearts? Sadly, uh, you know, I can't just kick those into the boss room with me, so we might find ourselves in an interesting position here uh, momentarily. Now, double fly rooms, scary, but not the end of the world, because via Polyphemus, I can usually uh, destroy one or two in a single shot. I can't believe we didn't get, like, a single spirit heart or, you know, obviously an HP upgrade, I guess, would have been the, the best possible scenario for me, but, uh... Okay, let's let's hope we fight Pestilence, uh, let's hope it's easy, and we'll see who we've got here. It, it's Little Chub, or well, I guess it's regular sized Chub, technically. I think he does one whole heart of damage. So I'm just playing it cool for now, he also creates those laser bullet flies, which are real pains in the dick. He's only gonna take, like, a dozen shots to kill. He, in fact, he's all... Okay, that's real scary! Um, he's already so close to being dead. I might die? Just don't- Oh my god, okay, attack fly. I actually did not want you to hit those guys, just in case. And of course, we still do not get an HP upgrade, so the fact that I'm alive now is remarkable, but it might not last too much longer. We are- of course we're on the fucking Necropolis. Uh, by way of that Eternal Heart, we may have one more hit of survivability. Maybe. So I'm just kinda try to hide out in the corner here. Uh, obviously the more of these bomb flies that I can kill, uh, while being in a safe position, the better it is gonna be for me and everyone watching. This is a real scary situation, though. I'm trying to get to the, uh, shop. You know, if we fight Super Greed in that shop, I'm gonna flip my lid. Do people still say that? Is it still the 1940s? Um, yeah, like, I'm gonna be kinda pissed, actually. <laughs> like, at the- not- not pissed at the game, like, I'm gonna throw my controller in the trash, and I'm not- like, I'm using a keyboard anyway, but, um, it's wireless, though, so the threat remains, um, but, uh... Okay, just back it up here for a second. I, I gotta focus on what's going on. It, the random number generator would, generator would be what I'm pissed at. Uh, pseudo-random number generator, I suppose. Uh, please, a spirit heart. More keys are not essential! 
We still do not get a uh, anything that improves our survivability. I am going to make my way to the boss room, just because I can, and we're we're close. And I'm oh, okay. That's scary. There goes our eternal heart, and now we're trapped in the corner, and now we're going to die. How do I get out of this situation? How could this happen to me? I've made my... I didn't actually really make that many mistakes, if we're going to talk about this as adults here. Okay, so that bomb fly's gone in a different direction. Is There are hearts available for me on this floor. Oh my god, they're coming for me! Ah, the single attack fly did it! That's so disappointing. Okay, let's, let's replay this one, because I was having a really good time. But at the same time, you know what killed me on that run? The boss room item that gives me mom's coin purse. That's what killed me. Let, don't make no two bones about it. It was the fact that I got fucking shit on by that boss room item that made it impossible for me to win there. That and, you know, a collection of not getting HP upgrades as Judas, which is basically a, a deal breaker. Uh, but I, I think I played reasonably well there. Uh, Ghost Baby, sure. It's, you know, maybe we're not gonna burn out here. Maybe we're just gonna fade away instead, but that'd be a nice change of pace after what happened on that last floor. Or last, uh, run, I should say. But we'll see what happens here. It's largely, I kind of feel like I got butt fucked out of victory there. Uh, I, I definitely had, uh, the infrastructure required to have a very good run, with the exception of, uh, you know, only having one heart container by the time we got to the fourth fucking floor, uh, by way of that shitty pill, basically. It's like an Alanis Morissette album or something. Okay, that was a textbook floor, very, very easy. Uh, I didn't want to end the run after, uh, end the video after that shitty first run, uh, simply because, A, pretty short, and I know that annoys a lot of people, but B, uh, I was annoyed myself, and I wanted kind of a chance for redemption here. That was by far the worst run we've had in recent memory. So, uh, we might as well fight our boss right away. We will have Judas, uh, or Book of Belial prepared for it, uh, and our card is the Two of Diamonds. That might come in handy a little bit later. <laughs> oh, I felt that sneeze coming a mile away, but... <laughs> So we're fighting the, the mirror images, uh, basically, of the, the bosses that we fought uh, on the last run. We're just going to try to hopefully uh, double the results that we had as well. Remember, uh, ideally not the coin purse from the third boss that ended up screwing us. Or was that the... That was the second boss, actually, that we got the coin purse from. But we also got an HP upgrade from one of the bosses. I can't remember the exact order that things went down in. Okay, this is excellent. We got the pentagram. Uh, and the shop is totally going to be viable on this floor. Assuming it has anything for us, but the pentagram is awesome just for the damage. Uh, definitely do not want to get notched axe. Remember, I can afford to buy this stuff right now. Because we have the two of diamonds, and the two of diamonds means that I'll effectively be able to double my money whenever I find something in the shop worth buying. Not worth doing it just yet, because we might get more money beforehand. Uh, but certainly, get. I'm, I'm very pleased that we got the spirit heart, because it gives me a, a brief air of survivability. Uh, here is our... Uh, so tempted to just say fuck you to those pills, but the inform uh, item room is so bad. Uh, but the information contained in the pill might be very useful. It teleported us. Uh, what is our... Okay, I definitely don't want to lose that card, because the two of diamonds actually could uh, basically gift me an item on, on one of these shops. Does this hit him? Uh, yeah, it's pretty close. There we go. Uh, we got one more room remaining. And the curse room, I guess, if you want to get technical. Uh, I, we still... You know, we don't have Polyphemus. I'll give you that. I should actually go shoot all the poop in this room, just in case it gives me a lot of money. Uh, we don't have Polyphemus yet, so I think the last run was still definitely more powerful. That being said, uh, I feel a lot more comfortable on this run so far, and, and that's, uh, you know, there's something to be said for that. So with only one bomb, I say it's uh, prudent for us to just go down to the next floor. We're still suffering from basically the same issue that we had. Ah, you know what? Let's look for the secret room. Uh, we're still suffering from basically the same issue that we had on the last run, uh, which is where the fuck is our HP upgrade so that we can actually survive a little bit longer. But... For whatever reason, I, I feel safer. That being said, uh, that could erode pretty quickly if we end up going down to the catacombs. Uh, and, you know, one well-placed boss, like a Mask of Infamy or a, even a champion version of Peep or something, uh, could end up killing me pretty quickly. So let's not get too cocky just yet. Uh, and it is indeed the catacombs, because of course anything else would be far too easy. And to be fair, you know, I actually deserve a challenge after the last uh, few vanilla runs, which have largely gone uh, very, very well for me. That being said, uh, it's, it's getting a little goddamn ridiculous, isn't it? Keep in mind, on the last run, we had so many advantages. If we could just pick up, like, one or two HP upgrades, I would have been better off. And in actuality, I guess, in hindsight, taking the nail would have been the smart decision uh, when I had the opportunity to do so. But sadly, I didn't. So, you know, that shows me. But I, again, I do think it's something that has to be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. Because I love keeping Book of Belial as well. 
but yeah, we had map, or sorry, we had compass, polyphemus, and uh, you know, so much damage uh, that it's unfortunate that run ended. But maybe we can uh, atone for that and do some great stuff here. Obviously, if I get oh, that's real bad. If I get one key. Uh, I'll use it on the shop here, because why not? Uh, we have the ability to get like 28 cents, but you know, first we've actually got to be able to get to uh, the shop, which requires the use of a key, which we can't get unless we can fly right now. So, uh, up here we have some green bomb shooters, which are pains in the ass. Not black rock shooters, but green bomb shooters. Uh, and they are dead, and we get a single penny, which doesn't really offer me that much in the form of solace. Uh, let's continue kind of running backwards here. I do have the speed necessary to get around these guys. Uh, I'm really hoping that uh, we pick up a key from this room because the shop is just around the corner. We could definitely buy more keys. Okay, uh, let's take it. Please don't be a health down. Oh my god. This is the worst luck that I've had with pills in a long time. This is some f irre irredeemable pharmaceuticals. I, I was just trying to think of a clever name either for a rap MC or to actually title this run. Uh, so we're back down to, uh, you know, the position where effectively one hit could kill us. Uh, and I hope you're not- Oh, that was really lucky. I, I hope you're not watching this thinking like, Wow, Northern Lion's so bad at this game. Sometimes I am. Admittedly, I really feel like I'm just getting, again, butt-fucked into submission by the random number generator here. We, we don't even have any bombs with which to crack open this tinted rock here. Now, we'll probably end up fighting a, a, yeah, a boss that could quite easily kick my ass. Now, watch, we'll get like a range upgrade if we're lucky enough to win. Uh, and then we'll get a deal with the devil where I have the option of choosing to die to pick up mom's knife or, you know, we're in a fucking... Every, everything in this run so far, or in this video so far, has been like a Pyrrhic victory. It's like, hey, you beat the floor, congratulations on setting yourself up for losing. There we go, almost died instantly. Another coin purse, let's go to town. Okay, two of those are bad trips. Fantastic, one of them is telepills, and one of them is a fucking wild card. Tears down, fantastic, alright. You know what, let's pop this two of diamonds, 44 cents is a lot. Let's teleport. We ended up getting fucking the missing page, which I'm not even gonna pick up. And I guess we're going down to the catacombs, uh, part two in all likelihood, with, uh, still one HP upgrade, merely. Uh, no ability to go to the item room, no ability to go to the shop, despite the bounty of wealth that I have at my disposal right now. No ability to crack open that tinted rock. No ability to improve my standing. What can I say, man? Rich just keep getting richer. So, well, we are on the caves part two, that's good. That being said, we're fucked. Um, unless we get an HP upgrade in all likelihood before the boss fight, I don't see anything good happening for us on this run. Uh, I have the, I have damage via the pentagram. Uh, I do have the damage necessary. Uh, I've got the, the damage necessary to get an advantage and the knowledge to get into college, you could say. If I may misrepresent a quote from Bell and Sebastian. Uh, we do have a tinted rock here, but again, there's no way for me to pop it open, which just is like a fucking microcosm of this whole run. It's like, check out all this good shit you can't have! Please drop a bomb. Oh, a single penny, thank god. I'll be sure to put that to use in the fucking afterlife. Uh, this, this could do it for me, because my ability to dodge is pretty compromised on this, like, linear layout that we've got. Luckily, I've actually managed to survive. Or, am I lucky? Who's the lucky ones in this situation? Die now or die later? Maybe that's good. Okay, we got it. We got a key. Stop the fucking presses, everybody. Um, you know, news flash. We might actually be able to be disappointed by the shop on this floor now. Uh, so I, I want to be, uh, I, I want to be impulsive and just go to the item room. Uh, and in fact, this might be a smart idea because we kind of need an item right away rather than looking for the shop. But I do think that long term, it's in the best idea for us to go to the shop. Uh, first, just because we have so much money that we could buy basically everything that they have in there. Now, ideally, we'd find this shop straight away. Uh, but, uh, you know, nothing nothing about this has been ideal so far. I guess Ghost... What the f... How did the, that second one die there? I have no idea. Uh, but we're just gonna, uh, run away? Okay, that was real close, but we survived. Sometimes, you know, it takes being in a, a really down position like this, uh, to really appreciate what it's like to be up, so, uh... I, I understand that games like this can be a reset button for my opinion on The Binding of Isaac, or my, the opinion of my runs recently The Binding of Isaac, so I'm okay with this. But, that being said, fuck you, troll engine. Now, you should die. We- oh, he didn't. Now he did. Uh, very scared about this, but that's okay, you should explode, uh, any OH NO! Okay, that was really stupid of me, but in any case, I guess that's my cue to fucking call it quits here. That was a garbage run and I apologize, but by the same token, I feel like I only made a few mistakes. I got screwed out of a, a lot of stuff. 
Uh, but, you know, shit happens. Maybe that's my cue to do a challenge run next and get off of this vanilla kick I've been on. But anyway, as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate any support you can give the videos. Uh, I hope you found it informative and maybe a little bit entertaining. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Please keep suggesting your challenge runs again. Thanks for watching.